Your friends and neighbors are installing them. You see them everywhere in the stores. But which one do you buy? Our top picks. Next. I'm Joe Deganzik, and this is our light bulbs, light bulbs, light bulbs episode for 2015. Normally, we talk about a few different topics on lighting answers, such as home automation and things that are in the news in terms of lighting and you know the Internet of Things. But anyways, we're doing the next version, the next year's version, well, this year's version of last year's what. LED light bulb should I buy episode and this year it is simply called our um, uh, 2015 LED light bulb buying guide. Now one of the things we were thinking about in terms of how we should put this together is what we should uh, define it as and basically we're limiting it down to your old traditional 60 watt incandescent soft white light bulb. Now we're, we're talking about replacements for this, and we know that many of you have moved over to um, CFL, the Curly Q uh, light bulbs that some, some people feel, myself included, don't put out a very pleasing light. But anyways, whether you've got these or the CFLs, we're talking about LED replacements for these. So when I talk about 60 watts, it's not like the new light bulbs are gonna actually eat up that much power. Regulations have gone into effect in this country and around the world that basically you can't buy these guys unless they are like this one, more energy efficient, and you still shouldn't use it. It puts out a ton of heat, it's less efficient, and you know, it's glass, so easy to break. Anyway, so that's what we're comparing to uh, when we talk about comparing and contrasting. So 60 watt old fashioned light bulb, soft white, not the daylight white, and we're narrowing it down to that. The other thing I thought about was how do we categorize these? Many people have favorite places that they shop. Say if you're going for home improvement or hardware, you might be going to Lowe's or Ace or Home Depot. General retail type store, you might be going to Target. And then of course, many people, myself included, love shopping online. So you're probably hitting up Amazon. So I want to include a number of different uh, light bulb brands um, some of which you may have heard of and a few you've probably never heard of, but they're all reliable. They're all great. In fact, all of the LED light bulbs that we talk about in this particular episode are all fantastic for you to buy. And I'll list a few of my favorites at the end. Let's move on and talk about, uh, like I said, uh, the categories um, basically that uh, basically at all these stores. So Ace, Target, Lowe's, Home Depot, Amazon, those are the places we're going to kind of break everything down to. Um, The other thing is, what did we rate these things on and how did we break that out? So we've got a few different categories, um, six of them. We'll run through that very quickly. The first one is light color, light quality, how the light is dispersed around the bulb. So if you put a lampshade on it, it's not going to cause some weird shadow problem. Uh, Number two is the physical size of the bulb and the shape and what it looks like. Does it look weird? Is it going to look okay in an exposed fixture? Um, The third one, of course, we're going to talk about energy efficiency. We're going to talk about heat. They all generate a little bit of heat. Um, They generate very, they use very little power. So we'll talk a little bit about that. And then one of the ones that's uh, near and dear to my heart, which is a dimmability. And of course, when you dim LEDs, some of them buzz and kind of make some noise. Some of them are dead silent. We'll tell you about that. And we've got some durability testing, which we did, which basically dropping the bulbs uh, three times right onto a concrete Uh, patio, which uh, some of them survived and some did not. We'll have the videos of that in a separate episode. And we even talked about packaging, why that's important. Uh, Well, yeah, we'll tell you a little later. And of course, the big one for most consumers, of course, is price. So we actually have seven LED bulbs that we're reviewing in this particular episode for you. But realistically, there's only six because as it turns out, one of them is simply a repackaged version of another manufacturer's bulb and they're pretty much exactly the same. So let's jump right to that right now to the good old next slide. So we're talking about um, bulbs that you can get now at Ace Hardware, sometimes at Lowe's depending on where you might be and if they've been repackaged again. But anyways, in general, Ace Hardware and Target, Target under their up and up 
custom label, you know, Target brand that you can only find at Target. The Up and Up bulb is a custom branded version of the Fight Electric bulb. They're identical in physical shape, size, dimming, light output, color, everything. At 9.5 watts of power, it's in the middle of the bulbs we tested, and it puts out an even bright white light similar to a halogen lamp. It has a wide, flicker-free, smooth dimming range, but does blink off at about 3-4% brightness. You can get it for $8 at Ace or $7.50 at Target. Moving on to Home Depot, and the first one that you can find at, exclusively at Home Depot, you can find these online with various resellers, but generally you're going to find them at Home Depot. This is Cree. They made uh, a name for themselves uh, years ago uh, with the invention of white, uh, well, blue and then white LED light. They originally just made the chips. Now they make the bulbs as well, starting a couple years ago. The Cree 4-Flow bulb introduced last December is the best one of the pack for heat management. The bulb itself never gets hot. It uses 11 watts of power, has a slightly large but traditional light bulb shape, and puts out a pleasing soft white light. It dims very nicely all the way down to 1% intensity, but does have some flicker. You can get it for $5.97 at Home Depot. The other LED light bulb that I can recommend to you at Home Depot is from Philips. This LED bulb changes to a warm, fiery glow when you dim it, just like an old incandescent bulb, but it's also the warmest white of the bunch at full brightness. It runs on only 9.5 watts of power and dims smoothly with no flicker down to about 4% and then blinks off. The Philips Warm Glow Bulb is the smallest of the LED bulbs we tested, and you can get it for $9.97 at Home Depot. Heading over to Lowe's, you'll find a number of brands including Osram, and you may wonder what the heck is Osram? Well, actually, it's part of Sylvania. They merged a number of years ago, but somehow they're still marketing these bulbs with different uh, separate brand names. This LED bulb will cost you the least in electricity at only 8.5 watts of power. It puts out a beautiful soft white light, dims smoothly but blinks off early at about 9% brightness. Oddly enough, it comes in a huge box that you don't have to destroy to open. And it's a great bargain at only $5.98 at Lowe's. If you're shopping online on Amazon, you are probably going to encounter this brand, G7 Power, and you think, who's that? It's a uh, small American business started by a veteran uh, a number of years ago, and they're based out of Nevada. Their bulbs, they have an entire line of LED bulbs. G7's incline model LED bulb is on the warm side of things, just like the Philips when it comes to light color. It uses only 10 watts of power and dims really nicely with no noticeable flicker down to 1%. Generally available only online, you can find this LED bulb on Amazon for $8.75, usually with free prime shipping. And finally, another brand that you may run into when shopping online and especially on Amazon is TCP. Nothing to do with internet protocols or anything like that. They're a great lighting company that's been around for years well known for their excellent dimming range on their dimmable um, products, uh, LED and even CFL. Uh, that's in fact how I found them. TCP's LED bulb runs on only 9.8 watts of power and obviously dims very well with no flicker. It puts out an even light, nearly as white as halogen, but just slightly warm in color. You can generally find TCP's products online, and the last time we checked on Amazon, this bulb was $8.08 .08 with free prime shipping. And so, the results, what are they? Well, we're going to show you side-by-side -side imagery of the various categories that we looked at and we've just chatted about, so you can see all of them right next to each other. And I encourage you to go to the store if possible, if you're going to buy uh, locally and you're not going to buy online grab one of the bulbs, take it home, see how it looks, because it's hard to see in the store. And what I'm talking about is this color temperature thing, whether it's warm or bright white. Um, really, it is really up to you and your own preference, because this is something that is 
very, very, very subjective. What I like, uh, you may not like at all, and vice versa. So anyways, let's take a look at all those comparisons, and we're going to keep them on the screen for just a few seconds each, so hit pause if you want to pause it there, and uh, let's take a look at all those right now. So you're saying to yourself, Joe, well, that sounds all great and everything, but what are your picks? Well, I actually don't want to give you my picks necessarily, but I will talk about some favorites of mine here on what are my faves. Um, light, of course, is very subjective, as I've talked about before, so you got to find what you like. Soft white, warm white, bright white. All of the light bulbs that are that I've talked about are all excellent. I wouldn't include them if they were crap, like I've said before. Um, they all generally are going to fit in most fixtures. They generally do not give off a lot of noise. They definitely do not give off a lot of heat. They fall within a decent price range. They save you money. It's all wonderful. If I had to pick two, um, my two favorites for generally... Um, all of their features combined, plus giving a little more weight to a little bit of dimming and the color temperature is the Cree and the Osram because they fall in that kind of Goldilocks spectrum uh, in terms of it's not quite soft white, it's not quite warm white, it's somewhere in between. I call it neutral white. Um, so anyways, those are my favorites um, of the six or seven however you want to classify it. You have to go out and find yours, but I hope I've given you some good information at least to get you started. So the last thing I want to say um, on this is, because it's been a little bit, um, is thank you. Um, we did uh, the original version of this episode um, about a year ago, and we've really ramped up over the past months here in 20. 15 and we've got a lot of really cool stuff in store later um, during the summer we are have an entire website that we'll be launching um, in addition to kind of support the YouTube channel but for everyone who has viewed and shared and emailed me and all the videos and all the cool stuff that you guys do thank you so much we have so many views so many subscribers and it's only going to get better from here and your support and your um, contributions via comments and so forth is what kel uh, helps keep the show going. Kel I can't speak today. Anyways, it keeps me going and we're going to do lots of great things in the future. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. There's a link up there most likely and uh, tell your friends we're across social media. Here's all the different ways you can get us on social media. And I just want to remind you to get out there and automate and brighten your world. I'm Joe Deganzik and this is Lighting Answers. I'll see you next time.